So this is supposed to be the world's best mini monster truck. It's supposed to do backflips, wheelies, donuts, car crushes. All in the comfort of your own home. So in this video, we're gonna set it up. And we're gonna take it out for a rip and see how good this thing really is. So I am a complete monster truck fanboy. And it's been my lifelong dream to own a real monster truck. So uh, here we are. And I am attempting to build the world's best one. And I'm also completely obsessed with RC cars. So we've got giant RC monster trucks. Medium sized ones. But there's never really been anything available that you can use indoors. And Tom Lee actually actually made one out of a crawler. I saw the video and I thought, well, I've got to build myself one. So I did. And then another one. And then another one. This one here, just like on the real monster truck, we've got four wheel steering, four link suspension, two solid live axles, dry shafts running down the middle. This one here is actually brushless powered. A realistic looking chassis. And now there's a whole online community, Facebook pages, loads of people making YouTube videos about their own creations of these little mini monster trucks. And no company has ever made a ready to run version. You always had to sort of make yourself out of crawlers and bits and bobs from different things. But Fury Tech have come out with this. This is a prototype. So look at that, we've got an aluminium transmission, great big brushless motor. Well, a lot bigger than the motors that we got in them anyway. Double shocks on the corners, carbon fibre chassis, metal drive shafts, four link suspension, solid axles. It's got it all. So in this video, we're going to set it up. We're going to get some wheels and tyres on there. We're going to get it running. And then I want to see if we can do some realistic little Monster Jam style freestyles indoors. So first of all, we need to put some wheels and tyres on it. And on these ones here, I kind of made them out of some toys and hot glued bits together. So on this one here, Tony from CCXRC has sent me these 3D printed wheels. Here we have a little monster truck kit. It's not RC, it's just something that sits on the shelf. But apparently the tyres on these are perfect for the mini monsters. So here is the actual kit, but we don't need any of it. The only bit that we need are the tyres. Now the other ones. Boom! Boom! Oh, check it out, guys. All that we gotta do now is get the battery in there and hopefully we can let it rip. So with this being a prototype, the cab is a little bit too far back. If you look at that, it's more like a sports car, a real monster truck. We've got the cab a little bit further forward. I'm sure they're gonna sort that out in the production version. At the time of filming this video, this has not been announced yet, but now maybe it is. I'm gonna put a link down below to Fury Tech. You can go and check it out and see what they have on there. I think at the moment you can get the motor and the transmission already. At the time of filming, there's no chassis or axles or any of that. So link down below to all that. Now Tony from CCXRC, he has made me these little bodies here. So this here is a Chevy C10, a replica of my full size monster truck. And what I'm planning on doing actually is building a replica of my big truck. So this body here with this cab, it won't actually fit on there. There's a couple of C10s here. Oh, look, look, this one is cut out. So once Fury Tech come out with a proper chassis, then hopefully we can get that to fit. I also want to modify it in a future video and make it four wheel steering. At the moment, it's only front steering, but I think there's no reason why we can't anyways get another axle like that, shove it on the back and have four wheel steering. Oh, look at that. Tony's also made the monster mutt body and an Escalade by the looks of it. Yes. And some crushed cars. So we're going to give them a go a bit later as well. Probably have to chuck a little bit of paint on there and then we can chuck them on the floor and run them over. So a massive thank you to Tony from CCXRC. I'm going to put a link down below to Tony's YouTube channel. He's completely monster truck nuts. He's got RC monster truck lore. Go over there, check him out, give him a little subby and say hello. So link to Tony's channel down below too. Right, next, let's get a battery in there, see if we can get that thing to work. So here's the radio. I think this is prototype as well. It looks like they've... So we have to figure out how that works. So next we've got to find a LiPo to go into here. And then once we found that, then it should be able to rip. And it looks like we need this sort of connector here. Being a prototype, there are no instructions. So no idea what we're doing. I'm not even sure how many S LiPos are supposed to take. I think it can do 3S, I believe. This is a 2S. Or is it a 2S? No, this is a 1S. Oh, something just lit up. Oh, we got steering and power. So I'm just looking on the Fury Tech website and that ESC looks to be the same one that we have on there. And if we look down here, it actually says it needs a 2 to 3S LiPo. So 
we need a bigger lipo. So we've got a whole load of lipos here that look like they're going to fit in there perfectly. Trouble is, the connector won't. But we can make an adapter, so I suppose we're going to have to sacrifice this lipo. When you're cutting the lead off, you're not supposed to cut through both at the same time because you can short out the lipo. Boom! So now let's try the 2S and see what happens. Steering, yes, power. Oh yes, we're moving. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, check it out, guys. We are ready for action. <laughs> it's actually got some power. Whoa, Jesus. What? That's on 2S, how's it so fast? What? Guys, that is mad. We've got to find a way to hold this body on, though. So next, let's paint up these crush cars. We've also got some backflip ramps and some other ramps going on. So we're going to do all that, set up a little track in here, and then we're going to do a proper little Monster Jam freestyle. But we do have a slight problem with this. Watch. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. There's no brakes. You can change it so it's got brakes, but I have no idea how to do it. So in a minute, we're going to head over to Redfin Models and see if Jason can do it. But first, let's get these painted. So let's do a red one and a blue one. And then we're going to do the inside silver. And then when the paint comes off of hitting it, it's going to look like a real car with the paint coming off and the metal showing through underneath. There we go, we are all painted up. If you want to know where you can get them from, look, you can get them from the CCX RC website. I'm going to put a link to that down below. Right, Redfin models, then we'll come back and have a little play. That's all right, I suppose we're going to buy some toys. Here we are, Redfin models. And here we have the wizard. Morning. Jason Wizard. Can you make the brakes work? Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> oh, Jimny. Yeah, he's a bit dusty. Uh -oh. That looks pretty fat, doesn't it? He's going to get a C10, though, so it looks like my monster truck. Oh, look, we've got Finley in the house. Hello. The boss. Who's the boss out of you two? So when you guys come to Redfin, you have to go and see this little man here. <laughs> and that is where you got to come if you want to visit. Oh, there's another shopkeeper down there. <laughs> so what is Finley's expert opinion? I'd say it's actually really tall. Judging it's carbon fibre, aluminium, and meant to be ridiculously fast. Look at the radio. They've turned this into like a little computer radio. Trim, endpoint, expo. Look, we've even got telemetry. That's really cool. Look at all that in there. I love that. I don't know if it's going to be something that you can buy or if it's a prototype. Have a little flick through that. It's super cool, isn't it? Jason approves. That's <laughs> this is the normal controller, whereas that's the one that... Yeah, so it looks like Fury Tech have modified it. Hopefully, we're going to be able to buy these soon. Yeah. So Jason has the Fury Tech app. Yeah. Hopefully, it has Bluetooth and it's going to work. Oh, has he got Bluetooth? Good. Has he got it's Bluetooth? It's car, which is encouraging. You looking good? Yeah, it's saying update firmware. Should we go ahead and do that? Uh, yeah, give it a go. A few moments later. Oh, what's happening, Jason? Um, it, it's, it's basically just not, not working. Oh. Sadly. Um, so. A few more moments later. Um, it's doing something. It's loading something, so. A few more moments later. Oh, guys, it's not working. So the app was actually talking to this, I think, and we can't get into this. And it needs a Bluetooth module so that we can use the phone app. Maybe my crawler back at the shop has got the Bluetooth module that we can plug into that and then give it breaks. See you later, people. Bye. Bye. Oh no, look at that. Oh well, I guess we've got parking free all day now. Let's go back in the shop and have another cup of tea. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, look at that little mini Z in there, look. He's got drones, he's got little racers, engines, and oh, look at these little motors. All your aeroplane stuff. Is there anything you haven't got? Uh, no. Oh, bloody hell, you got enough little servos? Yeah, we've got a couple in there, haven't we? Yeah, have them like cornflakes. Oh, it's a drifter. It's a drifter we just made, yeah. Just nice. Different style, one for a change. Yeah. Oh, cool. Look inside it. Oh, we see carbon fibre. Oh, the professionals are going to say it's not a drift, it's four-wheel drive. It's got, um, what do you call it though, one way? Yeah.
Oh, look at this. We've only just got one of these. And I think we're going to put a stupidly powerful motor in it and turn it into a burnout truck. What do you reckon? What you got? Oh, I've got me Rift. Ooh. It's quite cool. It's oh, quite these, are, these are vicious. Yes. So what have you done to it? Proline shocks. Yeah, that's the start. This brakes, wheels. The roll cage comes black. Go ahead and put it down on something. Let's see what it looks like. Oh no, it's still on there. But at least we haven't got two. Bye, Jason. <laughs> Back in the shop and I've just messed about with it off camera and I think I might have killed it. I can't turn this on anymore. I tried to prepare it to my phone, do the update thing, get it all to work and it didn't work. And um, yeah, so this I can't turn on at all. So that's dead. So I think what I'm going to do, I've got this little ESC here. This is a brushless B controller. I think I'm going to remove all this stuff here for now chuck this in it and then we've got a spectrum receiver that we can chuck into it because that means then i can use this radio here and then if i decide to make it rear wheel steer in future then i've got a toggle switch on here and that can be my rear steer so let's get all that lot in there and then we'll take it out for a rip there we go that has got to go in there boom there we go got it all in there we did put a different speed controller in this one here is a bit bulky really and i found a little hobby wing in there look 18 amp hobby wing receiver under there look it's all plugged in we have steering and we have go check it out and reverse so now we got brakes watch and brakes so when we jump it we should be able to do front one brake in the air oh guys this is lively it's definitely too fast but i think oh butt landing <laughs> Check it out guys, they could do some rear wheel steering, we're going to do that in a future video. I think we need to turn the speed down a little bit, it's almost too fast, look at that. <laughs> Definitely way too fast. You probably thought you'd never hear me say it, but this is supposed to be a scale monster truck, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the controller and we're going to limit the power and make it a little bit more slow and a little bit more realistic. Then we're going to build a little mini indoor freestyle track. And then we're going to go and let it rip. Yes. So we come into the radio, onto right, and we go onto throttle and we turn it down to 46%. Hopefully that's going to be more realistic. So now body on, track build, and rip. So there we go, body's on. We've got an elastic band on there and a little bit of tape to hold it on. It's only a prototype, but you're going to get the idea. So next, let's build the track. Here we are for the Monster Truck Freestyle Competition. Are you ready? Go, 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 go! kit no big deal only that bit there it's gonna be an easy fix in a future video i want to turn this into a replica of my full-size monster truck so this one here's got a chevy c10 body that's sitting up there look these are the big tires that are going on it we're going to paint it red and this little mini monster truck is going to be a replica i want to make it rear wheel steering as well we've got the c10 body here that tony made probably want to get some oil filled shocks for it as well so subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it